something that we all struggle with as artists. Photographing what you want versus photographing what you think will pay the bills. We're in a global economy, so you can literally do anything you want and there will be a market for it somewhere in the world. Is it gonna be in your same town? Maybe not, but it will be somewhere and there's always someone who's willing to buy something that you have. That being said, if you have a really niche thing and that's what you wanna shoot, if you're not in a place where there's a big market for that or even a sustainable market for you to have the income level and the lifestyle that you want, it might not be possible to just shoot that one thing and then make a living. Not to say you shouldn't try, but do your research. When I got started, I really wanted to be a fashion photographer because of all the really cool avant-garde, crazy styled things that you could shoot. That was my plan when I first got into photography. But I'm here in the Bay Area. We do tech. We don't do fashion. Now, there are some designers. There are boutique stores. There is some of that here, but none of the designers are here. They're in LA. They're in New York. They're in Milan. They're in Paris, right? There are certain cities that flourish when it comes to things like that. And if you're not in one of those cities, it can be really difficult to make a living or even any substantial amount of money shooting that one genre. So I took up photographing families, high school seniors, couples like a fashion shoot instead of being able to shoot models for a catalog. I also found out that a lot of people like Gap or Express they don't really pay well for the shoots. You go in and you spend a long day shooting tons of people in their outfits against the same background and you crank out tons of photos and you have to do a volume thing to be able to make money. I also love photographing goth spooky things, but there just isn't a sustainable market that can pay for those things. So once in a while, if I see people who want that sort of look, I am happy to oblige. Now, does this mean you should shoot things that you hate in order to pay the bills of the camera? I really don't think so because that's not sustainable either. You're going to resent your work. Find a way to shoot what you want to shoot and then you might still have to shoot some of the things you don't want to. It just depends on your area. You know, I, I know that some of you live in very sparsely populated areas. There's not a lot of people nearby. So you might have to start advertising in local big cities or towns where there's a lot of people and then do day trips out or weekend trips where you can go photograph a handful of people in those areas where there are clients and then work from home the rest of the time or find, find some way to get near enough the clients who want what you have to make that work. So those are some things to think about when choosing what it is that really moves you and what you want to photograph. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit subscribe down below so you never miss an episode. And be sure to swing on by our private Facebook community, Photogs Unite, where you can learn with other photogs from around the world who are just like you. And until next time, photogs, remember that every photo you take brings you one step closer.